Hello everyone, this is Trap. We're going to continue my video series on uh, starter kit hopping. Uh, so this is when you want to move from one NeoVim environment to another without any fear of messing up your current environment or messing up your computer at all. So this time we're going to be looking at the Primagen's uh, starter kit Packer package manager. I have forked that repo. I've made a couple changes making it easy to bootstrap it. I also put a pull request in, but possibly he'll end up using it. Let's hop in and let's take a quick look at the, at the primogens and take a look at some of the things that we can learn from that really quick. So the first thing we do is we navigate to the right directory and so that's going to be nvim prime. And then we're, we're going to do a switch neo vim to prime. And so you're seeing that same, everything's being removed. You're seeing the package, packer package manager and provide information on the screen telling us what's happening. In the lower right hand corner of the screen, you'll notice that all the packages are up to date, which is which is exactly what we would expect. Okay, so um, if we get out of NeoVim altogether and go right back in, remember this is Packer, so we're not, we're not gonna be using Lazy to manage and check startup times and things like that. We're just gonna use NeoVim as it's been configured by this package manager and see what we can get. So we notice on second invocation, we notice that it's gonna install some language servers. We got Rust, gotta have Rust. We got Lua and we have tree So that's gonna allow us to do that same experiment with Rust that we did with TJs and with my package, package my NeoVM environments when we were editing a Rust file. So that'll be toward the end of the video. So what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna you know, get out. We've got a package manager there. We've got packages coming in. So you're seeing information at the bottom of the screen, which is what you would expect. Okay, so we exited NeoVim. We're just gonna go right back in. I don't know the keystrokes. I don't know the key bindings. So one of the first things I do is, I'm pretty sure that we're gonna find telescope. Telescope is there, so I can do a find files, do a find file, boom. It's gonna bring up the, the telescope menu. So now I can see, now I can start to discover what's going on in this package manager. So um, what I care about right now is that file called remap. Um, so if we go take a look at the remap file, we're gonna see some keystrokes. We can start to learn from the keystrokes that, the, 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 that Prime uses on his, a lot of his videos. So the one that I'm, I'm interested right now is the one that brings me right to a, a particular file that we can edit. So if we look for an edit in here, and we're not going to find it that way, so we're going to look for Packer. There it is, Packer. Okay, there's the file. So this file, we made a, I made a change on this particular file because I had to change where the file is being edited because it's relative to my computer, not his. So that is uh, that is leader VPP. Um, so if I do leader VPP, took me right to that file. That's excellent. So what I do at this point with, with this particular distro is I want to look at what he's doing with his Packer. I, I pack, Packer, see what plugins he's using. Maybe there's a plugin he's using that I've never used before and I want to kind of learn about it. I want to see how he's got it configured. So I know he's got Packer. I know he's got Telescope, no surprise there. He's got Trouble, that doesn't surprise me. So, you know, you just look around, see what he's got. See what he's got, okay, got some stuff going on with tree sitter. You've got the playground, that's cool. You've got the tree sitter context, which is also cool. No surprise, you're gonna find Harpoon in here because it's a really cool plugin. I use it too. Um, then you've got some of the primogen refactoring. So I wanna learn how to use that package. I see how to configure it, nothing going on there. So I would take, I would take what's on line 68, I would throw it into my personal environment and I would experiment with it and see what it does in my environment. And then I would try the same thing in this environment so I can go back and forth between the two to see if I've done anything wrong with my environment. I notice that he's using Fugitive. I use Fugitive as well. So I can go look at his keystrokes to see what he's doing with Fugitive, okay? I've never used LSP0. Don't know anything about that package manager. Um, it's doing all your LSP stuff. Pretty cool plugin. So I call it a package manager, but we know it's, the, it's a, a VIM plugin to do LSP servers. I've never used it. I don't know how to use it. But here I can see some very simple stuff. So if I wanna, I wanna play with that, not just read the code. I actually wanna use it. I've got a way to do that using his plugin. My biggest challenge is with any, with any of these package managers that I look at, it's the same challenge. What are the keystrokes? So I know that his file is, is 
remap. So if I do that uh, command to do a find file again, I'm just going to do telescope, uh, telescope, find files. And I know it's remap. So I've gotten a little faster because I can type telescope and I can type the name of the file I know I'm after. But if I look in here, I'm pretty sure there's going to be a find file command. I don't know what it is, but let's just look for it. So we can look for telescope in here. Okay, telescope isn't in this file. Um, but I think Prime uses later PV. That's He likes to use just a plain nerd tree like file uh, export. We're nothing wrong with that at all. But if we look around in here, we're probably going to find the Primogen. We got the Bootstrap, we got Packer, we got Remap, we got Setlua. Bet if we go up a directory, are we going to find it? Errors and after. That's what I was thinking because I've seen other Prime videos. I know the Primogen uses the after quite a bit. So I can go in here and I look at the plugins and there's telescope. That's what I was after. So I'm going to look at the telescope file and I can find, okay, his command is leader PF to find something. So leader PF, boom. So in a few minutes, I've gone from typing telescope to using telescope to find the file, to navigate around, can't find what I'm after right away. So then I go back to what I recall the, the Primogen uses for his navigation. I go navigate, I find where he's setting that keystroke, it's in the telescope file, and away I go. Now, I happen to notice in here when I'm in this file, we're going to get, we're going to get out of this uh, telescope. Quit. Oh, it's, it's that key. Okay. Happen to notice in here, grep. So what's he doing for grep? It's leader PS. Okay. So let's get out all together. So we're starting at the top. So we're just going to go right into NeoVim and it's leader PS for grep. So we're going to leader PS. In the lower left-hand corner, you see the prompt grep. Now, I happen to know telescope occurs somewhere in this code, so I'm going to look for telescope. That's all I'm going to do, and right away I get hits. So, the file I was looking for that gave me the keystrokes was in the after directory. So, within a few minutes of using his starter kit, I can go in here and I can start finding things and I can start learning from this. So I can see key bindings that he's doing. Like for example, we're going to go into telescope and he's got this really cool key binding on line eight, line nine, which is doing the built-in help tags. Pretty cool. What's it do? Well, find out leader VH. There it is. Okay. How cool is that? So I'm not just looking at his starter kit. I'm using his starter kit. Okay, which I think is pretty cool to be able to do something like that. So what I want to do now is I'm going to run that same experiment that I ran on the other one. So we're going to we're going to hop out of this really quick, and we're going to go over to my LSP directory, and we know Rust is in there. They got to have Rust. Okay, so let's go back and do the same test. So we're going to do the remove RF sample, and we're going to cargo new sample. We're going to set default over to sample. And we're going to do the tree command. We have a we have a Rust file. Great. Now, I have no idea what's going to happen next, but we're going to find out when we edit a Rust file. So we're going to we're going to do NeoVim source main and see what happens. All right. Now we're going to do LSP info. And what do you know? We have Copilot and we have Rust attached to this buffer and and recall the only thing that we did was we downloaded the starter kit we removed all occurrences of neovim plugins and package managers from my computer and we simply launched neovim again and we discover a lot of things because we're not only looking at source code we're actually running the environment which when you take the two, looking at the source code and running the environment, you get this huge and amazingly powerful environment that you can create your own personal development environment with. We're gonna wrap up the Primogen starter kit by showing you the code changes I made. And the changes I made were simply to allow the system to bootstrap and not access any packages prior to the, that package being installed. So recall from the Primogen's key map, he's got a leader PS, down on the lower right hand corner, you see the grep command, or grep prompt, and I'm gonna type in to do. 
that's going to bring up a few files that I changed. The first file is pretty self-explanatory. If Packer doesn't exist, we're going we're gonna to install Packer using the get clone command. The next file has three changes in it. So the first change adds a function file exist. And we add that function. You'll see that used two, two to-dos down. The next one is the check for bootstrap. And the third one uses the function. So instead of commenting out the code, I just put in a check to see if the file exists. So if Prime is using this, or if I wanted to create some directory on my machine called you know, personal streaming tools, then I could have, have that brought into my environment. The next change that we make is the keystroke that we've already seen. That keystroke is specific to my machine. Um, this file has got the protection. So we're winding, what we're doing here is we're using the P call. And what the P call is doing is it's, it checks it for not Packer OK. And if that's true, it gets out. The reason you do that is these packages are being installed and you do not want those packages being accessed or set or their setups run or whatever that package, you don't want that done until Packer's finished, okay? The next one is just a pop-up. That's all I did is just so, just so this installation looked like the others during my demos, I added this line of code. So you can see in that it, it's not a line of code. It just uses the Packer Util and Float Mental, makes it rounded, and I let it run 50, 50 jobs max. So I did that just so this install was A, it didn't have any issues with startup. I just want it to work. Just wanted it to work as quickly as I could. So I added these as a pull request, hoping the pack Primogen accepts them. If not, you can look at my repo to see what I did. If you choose to clone his directly, then make the changes yourself. Anyway, it was a great distribution. Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. Remember, this is a seven part video series where I'm covering different NeoVim installations. Give me a like, give me a subscribe. I've got a new microphone, so I'd like to get feedback on whether the audio quality is improving. Thanks again for watching. This is Trap. I'm out. May God bless you.